Good morning, it's Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Demons Laugh, and our scripture is Psalm 138. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life, for your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. C.S. Lewis, after he'd been converted, wrote many wonderful things to defend the faith of the Christ he'd come to love. One of the deepest, for me, of these is the Screwtape Letters, an imagined conversation between a senior demon named Screwtape and his nephew Wormwood, a demon apprentice. Uncle Screwtape is mentoring Wormwood on how to drag other humans to hell. In one training session, something of a debriefing on the work of an old devil, Lewis recounts something quite apropos to the last couple of years in our generation. Quote, one young devil asked the old man, how did you manage to bring so many souls to hell? The old devil answered, I instilled fear in them. Answers the youngster, great job. And what were they afraid of, wars, hunger? Answers the man, no, they were afraid of the disease. For this youngster, does this mean that they didn't get sick? Are they not dead? There was no rescue for them? The old man answered, but no, they got sick, died, and the rescue was there. The young devil, surprised, answered, then I don't understand. The old man answered, you know, they believe the only thing that they have to keep at any cost is their lives. So they stopped hugging, greeting each other. They moved away from each other. They gave up all social contacts and everything that was human. Later, they ran out of money, lost their jobs, but that was their choice because they were afraid for their lives. That's why they quit their jobs without even having bread. They believed blindly everything they heard and read in the papers. They gave up their freedoms. They didn't leave their own homes literally anywhere. They stopped visiting family and friends. The world turned into such a concentration camp without forcing them into captivity. They accepted everything just to live at least one more miserable day. And so living, they died every day. And that's how it was very easy for me to take their miserable souls to hell. For you today. Fear is as much, if not more, of an enemy than any pandemic. We must keep in balance the prudence of planning and appropriate caution for our own health and that of others. Jesus did encourage that his believers were to count the cost, meaning understanding that there are risks because we live in bodies that are susceptible to disease and injury. At the same time, there's little sense in clinging to a miserable life filled with fear, Rather than live fearing that which can kill the body, our lives should be spent lovingly serving the one who gives eternal life. The words of Jesus at this point should be sufficient. Luke chapter 12. Dear friends, don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. They cannot do any more to you after that. But I tell you whom to fear. Fear God, who has the power to kill you and then throw you into hell. Yes, He's the one to fear. And then Luke 17, If you cling to your life, you will lose it. And if you let your life go, you will save it. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.